his name's Gavin, and uh, he was aware of the sub 60, and um, he, and he went up there and got it. Yeah. It was awesome. Yeah. Go man. Final meters up. Tough. Yeah. Flying. What's that? Flying. Oh man, it's definitely about pacing. I ran out of steam at the top there. Oh, it's tough. Mm. I know an, an elite um, trail like hill runner, uh. specialist, mountain runner, would get that. But, um, yeah. <laughs> if, you're, um, if you've been training for something a bit more long distance, mm. and then just give it a crack, she's hard work. Gavin appears out of the woodwork, a lot of different people mm. will um, give it a crack and, mm. yeah. and it changes, but you always got to go back mm. to what are you trying to achieve and what I'm trying to achieve is to yeah. get up there in under 60 minutes. Now. Breaking out onto the ridge. Um, still got about 16 minutes, 17 minutes to go to the top. Not sure if he's going to go for it or not. Um, I guess he'll decide once he gets... Oh, he's just taken a tumble. It's not all fun and games. You set a goal that's fun enough and interesting enough um, that inspires other people to do that, right? Yeah. Um, and I think that that's what we're going to see happen more to this um, Mount Arthur Sub-60 Challenge. And uh, Gavin went up there and nabbed it. And if I was to be completely fair about it, I think, you know, like when I chose that goal um, because I, I know that sub-60 was is something that I could possibly get, but to get it, I'm going to have to improve from where I am today and now. And so I wanted to set that bar because it's, achiev it's achievable, but it was going to be tough. But if you get um, a, say, an uh, international mountain runner, I reckon that that could be done in 55 minutes. So when you set a goal, you've got to be open to it changing, and you've got to be open to being beaten and someone else being faster than you. But my goal stays the same, and I want to get sub-60. Yeah, good one, good one. Go, go. Up.